Okay, everybody, I'm here with my 2006 Nissan Titan XE 4x4. I'm going to talk to you today about frame restoration. A lot of our trucks are getting older and probably showing signs of rust, and this is how you protect that frame from um, failing late in life and um, clean your truck up from those salty roads that many of us drive on. I want to say if this video is helpful to you, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Leave comments. I always answer any questions you may have. For this job, <clears throat> I have a respirator so I don't breathe in any rusty dust. I have some wire brushes, look like toothbrushes, safety glasses. I have a wire brushed uh, drill kit with different shaped wire brushes. My light to see underneath. And there's several products you can use for this. I chose this Rust-Oleum Rust Reformer. There's things like Cora Seal. There's, there's a bunch of different products on the market. I chose this one. And then finally is my top coat, which I'll talk about in a minute here. So what you're gonna do <coughs> is take your wire brushes, hand brushes, your spin brushes, even some sandpaper, and you're gonna get up in there, and you can see right there, I've got a really nice spot I gotta work on here soon. Clean all that loose rust off get down a nice clean metal. Um, you want a nice clean surface for this um, rust reformer to adhere to because this rust reformer is going to physically and chemically turn your rust into a hardened surface that is then paintable. Um, so you're going to clean that off really good. Then you're going to soap and water it, clean off any dust that's left there and you'll have a nice clean surface um, to apply your rust-oleum rust remover. So what I did was take an old brush and an old cup and um, <clears throat> paint that on there. It can be um, rather liberal, but try to use like clean strokes because it will leave a brush stroke on the frame. And if you see that, that may annoy you. Um, at that point, you're gonna let it dry. It can be touched in 15 minutes, but um, they ask that you let it dry three days before you put top coat on. So for my top coat, I have this uh, Rust-Oleum top coat that they recommend for use with this rust reformer. In three days, I'm going to tape off the parts of the frame I've done and rattle can this on. And I'll show you the contrast. So here's what it looks like before. That's 20 years of driving down dirt roads and through rivers and mud and everything else. And here's some sections that I've already completed. So you see how nice and black that is. You see the weld lines there are cleaned up very nicely. And I've worked my way up the frame quite a ways at this point. Um, looks a lot better. I think it's gonna last a long time. The truck won't fold in half from a rusted frame someday. And there's the before again. So there you go. It's a pretty easy job. Uh, it does take some time. I took about an hour to clean each about five foot section of the frame. And then another 30 minutes cleaning it up and painting it. Um, so one frame rail down, I'm about three, four hours in. It's gonna take a while to do a good job, but like most of these things, the key is in the prep. If you don't prep your surface well, this isn't going to work well. Um, so spend your time carefully prepping and uh, don't get too excited to paint. So there you go. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe. Uh, comment, I always enjoy comments and questions and uh, most of all, have fun out there. Thanks everyone.